Welcome everybody, my name is Michael, and today we're discussing about Sam Bankman Freed. After less than five hours of deliberation, the jury has come back and there was a unanimous vote on all seven counts. He has been found guilty, meaning he faces a potential 115 years in prison. Now, everything has been set back for next year. March 28th, that's when we find out his sentencing. Before then, though, there's four more charges that he potentially could be facing. Now, by February 2nd, we will know if prosecutors will decide to proceed with those because that could stack up even more against them. Probably this we saw coming because well, it started off not on the right foot when he made his interviews with media, when the judge got upset at him before the trial even started when his bail, $250 million, the largest we've ever seen, when he broke certain terms and conditions. And then in the trial itself, his own testimony. His lawyers have stated they will vehemently fight against these charges, that he has remained in his same position of innocence since this has started, and he continues to say that he's innocent. He has been led back to his prison cell where he will remain up until March 28th when everybody finds out what's going to happen in terms of his sentencing. One thing that certainly didn't help is Singh, Allison, and Wang, the three main key witnesses, were over $3.2 billion. Yes, most of that went to SBF, but around a billion dollars went to Singh, Allison, and Wang together. Allison getting only a small fraction of what Singh and Wang got. But all three of these key witnesses testifying against him. His probably best bet was to leave to a country where extradition would be a lot harder than it is now. And from Bahamas, next door neighbors to the United States, where, by the way, this just came out as well, where at one point in time where FTX was worth $32 billion, based in the Bahamas after their time, in Hong Kong, and before then, it was started in just an Airbnb in California, in a bedroom. When they were in the Bahamas, SBF was even talking with politicians from the Bahamas of how they would pay off, potentially, the $10 billion of government debt that the country had in order to gain favors. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. And, potentially, on top of all the political donations, over $100 million of political donations, a thought was present that, wait, maybe we pay $4 billion to President Donald J. Trump for him not to run in 2024. This was all insane on top of everything else he did. So, his parents were visibly distraught. His mom pointed to the chest as he was led away, crying. And he is going to remain in prison throughout Christmas up until March of next year. So, the seven crimes that he's currently charged guilty with, wire fraud on customers of FTX, conspiracy to commit wire fraud on customers of FTX, conspiracy to commit commodities fraud on customers of FTX, wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud on lenders to Alameda Research, conspiracy to commit securities fraud on investors in FTX, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. And that's not it. Again, he could be potentially facing four other charges. Now, whether he's going to get the full 115, we don't know. But either way, it's looking like he's probably going to spend the rest of life in prison. That's the update for now. Thanks for watching. You have a good one. We will keep you updated on the next one. But we probably won't hear too much about this until next year. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.